Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Dishonored 2. Thank you so much for joining me again. Well, after the last episode, I uh, did go online to look for some clues as to what the heck I'm supposed to be doing here. And um, to be quite honest with you, I'm still not 100% sure what the heck I'm supposed to do. Uh, it's just, it's not real clear to me. Um, I did receive a comment that told me that uh, there was supposed to be a cutscene that played when I uh, first encountered Delilah, uh, but uh, it did not happen. So I don't know whether there's a glitch and I'm going to have to go back or what, but um, as for just right now, um, I'm just going to go ahead and walk back up here, go back and um, just... I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know, man. Um, it, it, it looks like I'm supposed to use the heart on her, even if I'm doing the non-lethal run. Not 100% sure. Uh, I'm just going to walk back in there and see what happens. And, um, you know, if I've got to uh, go back to a previous save and try again, uh, well then by golly, that's what we'll do. But right now, oh, we need to take the elevator, don't we? Um, right now, I'm just going to go back in there and see what happens. <laughs> Alright, back up to the throne room. We'll just go this way. I think this, is, I think this is the quickest way to get back up there, right? I think so. Back out to the tower rooftop. I guess it's a bit of a trek because there's a whole bunch of different areas that you need to load up, but uh, it's not too bad. So yeah, apparently I was not supposed to put the uh, that corrupted rune on the throne until after uh, a cutscene happened. So I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm screwed unless I do go back to a previous save. We're going to find out. Okay, so where is she? <laughs> where did she go? <laughs> Let's go up here and take a look around. Alright, where'd you go, Delilah? Okay, she's, she's just hanging out there. Now, if I go down there, um, she's going to see me and she's going to attack me. And she, I can't beat her. I cannot. So, I'm wondering what happens if I... Uh, use the heart on her, whatever the heck that means. Use the heart on her. Um, let's go ahead and squeeze the heart and see what happens. Please. Please. Okay, I guess she's telling me I have to be closer to use the heart on her, maybe? Okay, let's try that. So we'll get... Can I get knock it on top of this light? Oh, that sucks. Um, I don't want her to see me just yet. So let's zip over here. And we'll see if we can get closer. Closer. Okay. You've brought me back my spirit. Follow me, dear Emily, and see how I will reshape all things. Ooh, a new mission clue here. Into the painting, Delilah fled into her magical painting after her spirit was returned to her. Follow her into the painting to prevent her from bending reality across the Empire. And right here, sabotage Delilah Copperspoon's throne. It might be possible to sabotage Delilah Copperspoon's throne by swapping a rune for a corrupt one. I didn't do any swapping. I just slammed it on there, man. Um, so I guess... Yeah, I used the heart. Um, do I still have the option of the peaceful? I don't know. I don't know. I'm supposed to follow her into the painting, so I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Now I have I have no idea if what Father? I'm 
Father, yeah. I have no idea if what I'm doing here is the non-lethal or the lethal way, but we're just going to go with it and see what happens. You can see it looks like I can't use any of my abilities right now. So there's old Papa right there. Alright, let's go. Let's follow her into the painting. Well, the world as it should be. So this is the world she dreams about. Okay, I could render, I could kill her or render her unconscious. And we got a new mission clue. So kill her or render her unconscious. Okay. <laughs> Delilah Copperspoon will need to be unconscious for you to carry her. That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to render her unconscious. Uh, disrupt Delilah Copperspoon's plans to foil Delilah Copperspoon's plans. Try placing her unconscious body on her throne with the corrupt rune. Okay. I can do that. I'm going to try to anyway. Um, we've already seen all this stuff. Alright, wow, it is really hard to see here. Huh, we could exit if we wanted to. Um, so... Oh, okay. I do have my powers, I just don't have the heart anymore. So if we do our uh, dark vision, I mean, I can't see anything, right? Are we humming? Is she humming? What's going on? Is she just standing there waiting for me? Oh, is that even her? It says that's her over there. Um, I don't really just want to walk right up to her, though. I'm supposed to render her unconscious, so I think I'm going to try to get behind her. How far can I zoom? Oh, not very far at all. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do a little bit of crawling around here. A little bit of sneaking. It's a long way down. So this is this is her dream world, I guess. And am I gonna be able to knock her out? Hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, oh! Optional: destroy Delilah's replicas. What's going on here? Destroy Delilah's replicas. Oh, they... Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. So there's a bunch of Delilah's running around out here. So... Well. Optional. Destroy Delilah's replicas. Delilah is creating sorceress replicas of herself. Defeat them to get to Delilah. All right. Defeat them. So I don't knock them out. I destroy them entirely. Is that what we do here? Nice piece of music playing. Look how these rocks vibrate. It's kind of cool. Oh, oh, holy hell! <laughs> Are you kidding me? The former Empress. Hiding like a slave girl. I do what works. <laughs> what the hell? I will find you. Look how many of them All there are. Of are mine to well, I mean, can I... How many can I mesmerize? I can't mesmerize that many, can I? Oh, they're all just talking. Look at one, two, three, four, five, six? There's six of them? Let me see. Let's see. I don't even know if I could take them out. Let's see if I can get behind them. Oh, crap. They're starting to walk away. Oh, that's not good. Oh, crap. Interesting. Well, let's see where they go. One right there. Two of them there. Oh. Okay. One of them walking over here. One of them's walking up there. Interesting. So I still have these two right here. One down. 
Okay. So I have no whoa, 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 whoa. I have no idea whether that Oh gosh, there's one right there. No idea whether what I just did is gonna help or not. Oh jeez, oh gosh, they're everywhere. Did they see me come up here? And that one that I knocked out, is she going to come back? I hope not. Come on, don't be shy. I kind of don't if they don't realize I went up here, but I'm not complaining. Let's see here. I hear... Maybe hear one of them walking around. Yep, there's one. Oh gosh, there's one right there too. That's what it takes. Another one down. Oh, oh, she's back. She or she saw me. Oh, is there one up here? There is. Oh crap, that's not good news. Good news for me. Okay, oh, I think one of them saw me. <laughs> We're gonna take this slow and steady. Right? I mean, I hope that there's a limit to how many of them there are. When I catch you, you'll make a fine plaything. Can't quite reach all the way over there from here. I love how they're all talking. So there's two of them on the stairs over there? How many have I knocked out? Two? Three? There's three of them on the stairs. Oh, this one actually looked cool. Should probably take some health. I'd hate to die after all this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh. What's she doing? Get out of my way, woman. Oh, no, no, slide. sound effects. Okay. I'm just gonna keep knocking them out. And like I said, I hope that they don't keep spawning. Let's see. Where'd they go? Okay, there's one right there. Oh, oh, she might see me up here. I gotta be careful. Whoa, what was this over here? statue of her over there. Oh, there's one right there! She's coming up here. Where'd that other one go? Oh, she's right there, man. Oh, crap. Oh, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Alright. Another replica un unconscious. Where is the other one? Where'd she go? Okay, so she's... given up looking for me. She, oh, there she is. Oh, awesome. Okay, she's down. Oh, we, okay, we destroyed her replicas? Whoa. Whoa. Well, what am I doing now? Does it tell me? I'll kill her or render her unconscious. Okay. What am I looking at here? What is this? What is this? Okay, I need to I need to lose her and uh, get behind her somehow and take her out. So, okay, there she is. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on her. I mean, 
maybe if we sit here long enough, she'll give up. Then we could sneak up behind her and knock her out. Hopefully it's that easy. Okay, she's just kind of standing down there. Basically walking in place. <laughs> being all weird. You're being all weird, Delilah. Hmm. Can't quite jump that far. Look at her just... Crap, man. How do I get behind her? Yes! Nice! Got her. Put the Lila on the throne. The painting should trap her in her own fantasy world. Okay. Put her on the throne. Sure, why not? No idea what's going on over there. Let's put her on the throne, man. Oh no. Is it is it this throne? This throne over here? Which throne? No, it's pointing me this way. Okay. Take her. So be it. Let's put her on the throne. Here we go. Uh place Delilah on throne. And now to see how well your magic works, Delilah. Now what? At last, what I've always deserved. My justice. Now what's always been marred and distorted will be perfect. I've waited so long. Sing my songs and lick <laughs> my flesh. Worship me. Target eliminated. Okay. Oh. Find another way to eliminate Delilah. Well, I didn't do that. Don't know exactly what that means. Find another way to eliminate Delilah. There may be more than one way to deal with Delilah Copperspoon. I mean... I'm, I'm okay with that. With how it worked out, I guess. I didn't kill her, so... And I guess she's taken care of. Corvo Atano. Now that Delilah Copperspoon has been eliminated, there's a chance Corvo Atano can be saved. Well, I certainly hope so after all that. Save Corvo. All right, let's try to save him. So what, she's like stuck in the painting now, I guess? Strange. Revive your father. Simple as that. Father? Emily, what happened? Let's sit down. I'll explain it all. Oh, <laughs> okay. She'll explain it to him, but not to us, I guess. Well, mission nine complete. Almost nine hours to do that. Lethality, we killed three hostiles. Well, it happens. Uh, <laughs> we were detected 52 times. <laughs> uh, stealth was not exactly my goal there, but uh, we are in this corner here. Non-lethal assault. That's cool. We found all the runes, all the shrines, all the bone charms. Came pretty close to finding all the coins. Found all the paintings, found all the blueprints. So not bad. And um, here are the special actions that we took care of. So let's see what happens now. Got a long road ahead of us to um, rebuild this place. And so a man born with the face of the Duke took his seat in Karnaka, ruling with empathy for those not born in a palace. The people were surprised by this sudden turn, but did not question their good fortune. In Dunwall, 
Without ever realizing it, Delilah passed into an imagined world where her father's promises were fulfilled and her subjects would love her forever as she sailed the ocean with a great fleet and trekked across the Pendicean wastes. While in the true capital, Emily the Just, Emily the Clever, ruled for decades over a prosperous, mended empire with Corvo Atano by her side. In his day, Anton Sokolov fired the engines of industry, hurtling the empire into a more sophisticated age. He dallied with nobles, wayward artists, and great inventors alike, drinking in all that life could offer. Leaving Dunwall for the last time, he headed to the cold north, contented at last, on a final voyage to take him home. There are things that never change, no matter how hard you try. Questions you must answer. As Megan Foster faded from the world, Billy Lurk stepped from her shadow, setting out to discover her truest self, and seeking the closest thing she'd ever known to family. that ought to do it <laughs> I don't know about you guys but when I finish a game I always have like this great feeling of satisfaction and accomplishment know, it just feels good man finish a game especially one like this one that I started over a year ago started it over a year ago played quite a bit of it and then stopped playing it I can't remember why I don't remember what game came out but there was another game that came out that I absolutely had to play and so I put this one on hold for quite a while and uh, came back to it and uh, remembered why I like this game, these types of games so much. I mean, holy cow, just the imagination, the creativity, the world they build. I just love it. Uh, I love this studio, Arcane Studios. They're just, I mean, they make, you know, the Dishonored games, they made Prey. And I thought there was another game they made that I liked, but I can't remember what it is now. I could be wrong about that. But, uh, Holy cow, <laughs> that was good. Uh, that was really good. I'm, I'm really glad that I came back and finished it. Uh, the story was really interesting. Um, I don't know if it, all of it made sense, uh, but you know, give me a break. You know, there was like a year, year intermission there. So I forgot some of the stuff from a year ago, but um, yeah, it's a really interesting story uh, with, with interesting characters. Uh, but man, I, I just love the using the abilities that uh, Emily had. You know, the far reach was awesome. I love uh, uh, dark vision. Uh, Mesmerize turned out to be very useful. That one where you could link them together was cool. Uh, it's, it's a fun game. And, and what's awesome about this game and Dishonored is that you can go back and play it again in a completely different way. And this game, especially, you can go back and play it again as Corvo and use all his abilities. So you go back and play it again as Emily, but this time kill everybody. Go back and play it as Corvo, kill everybody. Play it as Corvo, non-lethal. You could try for Ghost, Stealth. I mean, there's so much replayability in these games. The first Dishonored game I played uh, before I had a YouTube channel, and um, I did play it twice. Uh, I, I don't remember I do know that the second time I played it, I did I did get the ghost achievement. Uh, so I'm thinking that probably the first time I played it, I just sliced and diced everybody. And then my second time through, I just tried to be super stealthy. And you, you use different strategies, definitely. Absolutely use different strategies. So it's it's really cool. The replayability of, this, of these games is fantastic. I, I really do wish that I had the time to go back and play it from uh, Corvo's perspective. I would imagine that um, that the, the areas you visit are the same. I don't think that you get to visit different areas if you play as Corvo versus Emily. Could be wrong about that, but I don't think I am. Um, I, I'd be curious to see how they fit in 
like Megan Foster and uh, Sokolov and all those guys uh, with Corvo instead of uh, Emily. I imagine it's probably the same story. I don't know. But um, I, I just don't have the time. I, I just don't. I wish I did to go back and play it again. There is, uh, I know, at least one DLC for this game. I don't know if there's more than one. Um, I'd love to play that as well. Um, I might play it at some point. I'm not going to jump into it right away. When I finish a game, I kind of like to remove myself from it for a while. Uh, think about it for a little bit, let it rest. Uh, so it's not something I'm going to jump right into. But at some point, uh, I might come back and uh, play the DLC or DLCs. Uh, I love the world so much. Um, oh, I didn't know Sam Rockwell was one of the voices. Is it, is it the Sam Rockwell? The actor Sam Rockwell? <laughs> anyway, um, I I loved the game. It was fun. I love these games. And they're so, I've mentioned this before, these games are so freaking polished, man. I mean, these guys really know their stuff. The game runs great. Um... Got a little glitchy maybe here and there, but for the most part, it, it seemed didn't it didn't seem like it was riddled with bugs. You know, I don't know what it was like when it very first came out, but uh, pff, played great for me. Uh, it looks great, and uh, I love the sound design. The music is great. Uh, the story was intriguing. I thought I think the voice acting is really good. I just don't have anything bad to say about th this game at all. It's fantastic. And uh, the part where uh, you got the device that kind of lets you look back in time and then you could like go into it going back in time. That was one of the coolest game mechanics I've ever seen. Loved that. So cool. So creative. So glad I played this game. And I'm glad you guys came along with me. Those of you who are still here watching, <laughs> I'm glad you stuck around. Uh, that's it. That's all, that's all I have to say, man. It was, it was fantastic. So glad I played it. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm uh, always excited to finish a game. So I'm just going to go ahead and let these credits roll. And maybe there's like a little cutscene or something at the end here. I don't know. Stick around and find out. But uh, thank you so much for sticking with me. And um, make sure that if you're not a subscriber, if you subscribe to my channel, you click the little bell so you're notified. If I do play the DLC, you'll, you will want to be notified if I do do that. So make sure you're subscribed and you click the bell. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care, everybody.